Hi, I'm John Hart, and welcome back to Mr. America Hart. Hey, welcome back to my home gym. I know you guys know I shoot a lot of my videos right in here, and I did a video earlier last year, and I called it my perfect home gym. Now, at the time, of course, I was very thankful and appreciative that I had a gym at all to work out in at home, but also one that was as good as this. And so what's happened over the course of the last year or two is slowly but surely some things changed. And so I want to give you an update. You guys have noticed some of the changes that I've had going on, mainly some of the colors, but the changes you're about to see all the way around and some of the behind the scenes footage, like what goes on behind there, you know, behind you guys on the camera, right? So what's back there? Why do I have everything back here? What do I use? What do you not see on camera? So we're going to get to all that right now, okay? So first, I want to show you right here, standing next to me on just about every single one of my videos is my power rack. Now you'll remember what this thing used to look like, right? It used to be kind of a beat up yellow rack. Right. So I always have it loaded with a barbell ready to go. And you see, we can use this thing for squatting, bench pressing, rack pulls, deadlifting. I mean, chin ups at the top. See the bar up top right there? You can do chins right up there. We can do all kinds of chins. So my power rack is the centerpiece of the entire garage. So look, I'm going to take you for a quick tour around. I'm going to grab a hold of this camera from Isaiah and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. So down below, you're going to see I have a couple of plates that we regularly use here. You'll see a 25, a couple of 45s, 100 pound plates donated by Sonny Wilson. You'll remember Sonny from the 80 year bodybuilder, just 90 pound pull ups, right? So he's really famous for that video that I shot a couple years back. That one went a little bit viral. And you'll see we also have some good flooring down here. This is horse stable mats down here on the ground. That's what I use for the flooring here. You'll see they're around the room. Right there, right there. I have them cut into pieces, okay? What, what were those things we all flashed by? We're gonna find out in a moment. So, anatomy chart. I also have this poster that I created right here. I find it a little bit inspirational. You'll find everything in this room pretty much represents me to some degree. This is kind of like my space in our house. So, as you can see, I'm a Christian. So. Uh, you'll see scripture written up all over the place. But that, the American flag, I'm also an American. And we have below that, full dumbbell squat rack, uh, dumbbell rack, everything from one pound dumbbells, threes, fives, all the way across in five pound increments, two pound increments on the top, all the way up to 75 pounds over there. And, oh, what what is that? I'm gonna get to that in a second. And over here we have the rest of the dumbbells, everything from 75s up to 100 with an easy curl bar, a pull down bar, and a big huge fan ready to blow the place up. What is that? And then I also had our weight tree. You'll remember that weight tree. It was kind of a beat up old yellow that was matching the squat rack. So we had the weight tree turned into a nice bright foothill gym red to match the squat rack. So that's true. Now look, this book right here, I'm gonna to get to that right now. Come here today, hold on to this. I'm gonna have my cameraman hold on to this so I can show you this thing. All right, this book right here. Ah, year one in the beginning, okay? This is my latest book. Why don't you back up, Zay, so we got a little bit of room. This is my latest book, it just came out. It just came out, it's available on Amazon. Year one in the beginning, and it's for beginners. I realized over the years how many beginners that I've trained and how important it is for people starting out just right to go ahead and gain as much lean muscle mass as they can. So I'll put the link down below for this book. Just came out one week ago on Amazon, available in paperback just like this, or as a download. So you can check that out, digital or paperback. So it's a cool picture on there too. Check out that picture right there, right? Year one, the first year of your training, maximizing your first year of lean muscle building. Yep. There's that, okay. So, back to it. On the shelves, we got everything from dip belts, neck harnesses, uh, attachments for all the cables here. We have gloves, belts, everybody, everybody in my family works out. So everybody has their own specific gloves or belts that they use. We have up in here, chalk, 
You know we use chalk around this place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we have some collars, right? Some good, good locked jaw collars. We also have some fractional plates, everything. Uh, magnetic fractionals as well as fractional fractionals. I'll put some links down in the bottom so you guys can find out where I get my favorite fractional plates. These are some old school collars. They weigh five pounds each and they lock it down on a barbell. You don't even know. You find these pretty much in powerlifting gyms and in Olympic lifting gyms and that's it. So we also have a weighted vest. One of my sons uses that quite often. And over here, as we get closer to this area, we have a couple of hidden gems. Ooh, two gold 100 pound plates down there. Those are donated by my buddy Steve Ballinger, the greatest training partner I ever had. And another couple of 25s, a couple more 45s loaded on the Reverse Hyper. And you guys know I really dig me that Reverse Hyper, the Rogue Z Reverse Hyper. Look at this. I'll push this out of the way and you can see how cool it looks, right? The Rogue Z Reverse Hyper. Yes. And then, of course, R4L Raiders. If you know, you know. All right, let's get on with it. The mats, the mats. Look at these mats right here. These mats unfold and they cover the half of my floor here in the garage. If I want to lay it down, they're fantastic. Thick matting. Everybody can use thick mats, right? They keep nice and clean as well. What is that? Oh, my maxi cam cable set up with a good incline bench right here, an adjustable incline that I use all the time inside the rack, the power rack I just showed you, as well as with the cables. And this, my friends, this right here is the first book I ever wrote, Mr. America's Shape Up series. And that one tracked everything that I did for one year, going from kind of fat and out of shape to in as good a shape as I could get, right? Lean, muscular, the whole thing. So check that out. That's also available out on Amazon. So you can check that out both in paperback and digital. And then I'll put the links down below, by the way, for all these books in my video description. The only piece of cardio equipment that we have here is a 546 commercial grade elliptical machine. Again, the favorite in my family, that's for sure. Everybody here uses that thing. And another cool poster right here. So as a Christian man, if you know, then you know. All right. Up on the shelves, this is stuff behind the scenes. We use wipe all wipes to get some great cleanliness around here. And I do use 70% alcohol in just about everything. Uh, during a pandemic, that's just something that we do. Uh, lots of water bottles, uh, scale. I know some of you all are going to say, John, I thought you don't weigh yourself. Guess who's the only one who doesn't step on the scale? That would be me. Good trash can, great flat bench. And then the gripper right here, the gripper. This is the hammer strength gripper. So I'm gonna show you right now how I use the thing. Zay, why don't you come over here and take the camera so I can show them, okay? And this gripper is a hammer strength gripping machine. The first time I ever used it at Gold's Gym in Venice, I fell in love with it. I had to have one. And so, my buddy Steve Ballinger had one in his garage, and so I had to go and get one myself. I found it at a garage sale down in Newport Beach. And just so happens, we also had it refurbished recently, powder coated, just like the power rack, just like the weight tree in that great Foothill Gym Red. So, you get to see all the good stuff. Now, let's see what else we got here. I'm taking this camera out of his hands. Here I go. Uh, shelving with a bunch of kids' pictures again. This is just my life here, right? Uh, some good power belts. You see everybody has their own favorite belts that they use. Some lighting for my YouTube videos. And then, of course, the blower. Got to use a great blower in the garage, man. That blower right there is super powerful. Sun Joe. I'll put a link for that one also in the video description. Another big, huge fan of Bose speaker for great music. And the freezer. Stand-up freezer. And, whoa, one of the best preacher benches I've ever used, donated by Mr. Sonny Wilson. Again, Mr. 80-year-old doing 90-pound chin-ups. And what do I have sitting on that? Yes, because every once in a while we need to study our Physique 101 book, right? This is the second book that I wrote. It encompasses just about everything I could imagine, one of the most well-written books I ever did. 
It's physique 101, your best shape in the shortest time possible. It covers everything from beginners to advanced. So you might want to find that copy of that book as well. I'll put a link in the video description. You can find that one on Amazon as well. I have also a great big picture of when I was on the Battle Dome TV series. My name was Pain. As you can see, I was bringing the pain, right? And oh, one more barbell, an extra barbell hiding in the corner, right? And then last but not least, the great calf block that Joe Gold made for me. This thing came from World Gym. It's heavy, machined metal. Joe Gold made it for me and he gave it, well, he made it, not for me, but he made it and he gave it to me uh, before World Gym closed down and before he passed on. So I really appreciated that and I've kept it to this day. So that's my favorite calf block. Oh, and then of course there was the box. Fuel, great box. I'll put up a link for that one. Adjustable box, goes up three different heights. We use it for everything in this gym. And so, that's it for today. Hey, let me see. Why don't you throw that back on me, Isaac? So look, that's it for today. I'm just showing you where we're at today as far as the perfect home gym, my perfect home gym. It's everything I wanted it to be. Every piece I've ever imagined to have, I've been getting it. It's just one more piece I can imagine getting at this point. And you'll see sometime soon, I'll do a video on that one soon when that hits. But listen, for now, you're about to see a disc pop up next to my head. That's the subscription button for my channel. Please give that a tap if you're liking all the videos that I'm doing. And as well as the notification bell down below. That will let you know when I have new videos pop up. All the way down to your left, you're going to see a thumbs up button. Please give that a pop too until it turns blue. That will help the channel out greatly with YouTube. I appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you again from my heart to you. John Hart.